Today is the uh, 6th of April, and uh, actually I have my second wave of the dragon fruit buds underway. Previously, about two or three weeks ago, I had my first wave in the middle of March. And there were actually three of them, but only these two guys made it. And most likely it's because uh, right here, it was way too close to another one, so all the energy went one direction <coughs> instead of the other. But two still not bad to be getting it that early. As far as my second wave, I have four of them on this plant and three of them on the other. And they happened to appear all exactly on the same day, about a week ago, maybe less, about five days ago. And when they appear, they're kind of yellowish or completely yellow, and they turn more and more green as they get bigger. And here are the ones on this plant. Originally there were eight buds coming out on the second wave, but one of them fell off. Well, it hasn't really fallen off yet, but it doesn't look like it's going to make it. Because it's falling behind in size. As you can tell, these guys are a lot more yellowish. In another week or so, they're going to turn out to be like this. So they become green and layered. Like this one right here, since it's so close to the other one, I think all the energy is just gonna go to the bigger one. Might be wrong, but based on my experience, usually they don't make it when they're that close to another one like that. We're having two waves of dragon fruits already in April. It's really not bad and the main reason I believe is because of these lights because I have these lights here and in the direct uh, in the direction in which these lights are faced that's basically exactly where all these buds are coming out so I'm pretty sure there's almost a direct correlation as you can see the light right here you have all the buds coming right in front of it so once I get another wave or so, I'll probably move these lights down in another you know, spot to see if I can you know, get some buds to come somewhere else. Here's my red dragon fruit. The two big ones were uh, the white flesh, but this is supposed to be the red flesh. It's finally making it up this trellis, which I made with the bed frame. Stuck it in with some cinder blocks so it should be relatively stable underneath. And it's already making it right up here. Well, I just put some screws into a piece of wood. These ones, I screwed them into the frame. Basically, I'm going to let it get above here, maybe a few inches, cut it off and let it branch out. This one kind of got cut off somehow. I planted these a few months ago. Now, ever since putting them in the ground, they've made quite a bit of growth. Even has some area roots here.
And here are some of my other red ones. This one looks like it's not making any roots. When we make roots, they usually make a lot of top growth. This is actually a pink one right here. And here's another red one, which I'll have to get into the ground pretty soon. Because it's already about two and a half feet tall. some purple ones. This one was planted out and it actually got bitten by boars. It's uh, recovering now and I'll get it back outside probably once it recovers. Also took some cuttings off the white one, the white flesh one. And here's my orange. Here's the main purple ones. Usually when I have branches coming down here, I'll just take them off. The one, but the one thing I like about this one is it makes so many aerial roots and it clings to these bricks so well. Here's a pink one. Hoping this makes some flower buds pretty soon. And finally, the yellow prickly type. Except it's really skinny, unlike the purple one, which is about five times or more thicker. But this one tended to flower, bud and flower really early and it already has three fruits. One, two, and there's a third one under here. But these started budding sometime in February and they already have fruits. But it doesn't look like they're going to get really big, but uh, probably sometime by about May or so. I'll probably ripen and I'll get to see how these guys taste.